it's kind of been the, you know, the story of the season so far for this offense. We started slow. Um, sometimes we've been able to dig ourselves out of holes. Uh, tonight wasn't as fortunate, but just not not as uh, explosive and as dominant as we want to be offensively. What do you think the biggest difference was offensively in the first half compared to the second half? Second half, I think sense of urgency. Um, you're down 21-0, you, you really have nothing to lose at that point. Um, guys were playing free, flying around. Uh, I think sometimes a lot of the, the guys put a lot of pressure on ourselves to go out there and perform. And ultimately, um, we're at our best when, whenever we're playing um, loose and, and, and flying around. Did you feel more comfortable running up tempo like you did? Yeah, it was a, a good change of pace, and I mean, for the situation we're in, it's kind of you kind of have to do that type of stuff. But we had a lot of success, and um, curious to see maybe if we go to, towards a little bit more up tempo stuff as as the season goes on. How do you handle it when your first throw of the day gets uh, you know bad break and you're stuck like that? Yeah, um, it's kind of it's just a, sometimes it just it happens that way where it wasn't on the fortunate end of, of a tip pass right there, um, bad in the defender's hands. But I mean. It's the, the first throw of the night. Uh, it's probably the best time, in my opinion, to throw an interception because you still have the whole game ahead of you to, to look for and that type of stuff. Um, so it was still 0-0 at that point. Um, a lot of game left, and uh, sometimes just the ball wasn't bouncing our favor tonight. Seeing Trey get in there and, and kind of make some plays, I know he hasn't seen the field as much maybe as he wanted to this year, but is that connection kind of starting to form with you and Trey? Yeah, and then Trey's a, a great receiver. Um, He's a, a, a real long, lanky receiver. A guy can go up and get a, a football. Um, a really wide catch radius. So being able to see him, you know, kind of flourish tonight and, and make some big plays for me, um, definitely uh, kind of, you know, improved our, our chemistry on the field. What do you kind of say to rally the troops at this point after after two losses? I mean, the biggest thing is, you know, I'm a, I'm a competitor. Um, so at the end of the day, like I never step on the field um, unless I unless I'm going out there to win. So I think at this point it's just, you know, we got to take it one week at a time, one week season. Mm -hmm. um, you never know what could shake out mm -hmm. and just continue to, to attack, you know, each day um, as its own and not to look too far down, down the road. Avery, there were a handful of times tonight where the ref had backed off. ASU still had guys, extra guys on the field trying to get subbed out and you guys never once took advantage of that trying to get the free play. Did you see those guys or is that something where you're more focused on other things during the play? I think the biggest thing is sometimes this offensive line is out there communicating stuff. Um, and the last thing I want is to, to you know, catch our guys off guard. Um, we got to do a better job of that in practice, you know, simulating some, some type of stuff. And I got to do a better job, you know, getting those guys down and set so that we do get the opportunity to, to take some shots on some free plays and stuff. But, um, yeah, that's all I have to say probably for that one. There were several clips of on the television broadcast of you kind of getting after your offense on the sideline. Are you feeling more confident as a vocal leader when maybe things aren't going well? Yeah, I think uh, a lot of times, you know, uh, you know, people look at me and, and trying to feed off my body language. So just kind of sometimes you, know, you got to know when to when to get on some guys and pick some guys up and you know grab them by the, the shoulder and tell them, hey, you know, I'm gonna come back to you. It's gonna be all right. You know, don't lose confidence. Marquis Siegel. Um, I think you got to balance those those type of things with those type of guys sometimes. Um, but ultimately, just trying to fire those guys up and, and get them going so that we can go out and, and perform at our highest level.